Let's react to our Premier League 23-24 predictions. But we have a point system. If you are seven places away from where you predicted, you get seven points. The person with the lowest points at the end of this wins. And the one with the most points, the loser, has to give 10 memberships in the Champions League final stream. Make sure to tune in. So starting off... <laughs> I think all of us predicted the one, the only, Luton Town in 20th. I think that was a decent prediction, you know? I thought they were going to be by far the worst team in the Premier League, and they they weren't. They did a very good job. They should be proud of themselves. They ended up in 18th, so we were all uh, two points off. All right, next up, we all put, as well, Sheffield United in 19th. Not bad. Not bad. They finished 20th, only one point off, and they were definitely by far the worst team in this Premier League. Yes, bro. 16 points. That's one of the worst tallies in the Premier League. They conceded 104 goals. So that's only a plus one. Guys, we're tied up. We're tied up. In the last relegated team, I put Nottingham Forest. Shit. That, oh, that was oh, one yeah, point off again. At the end, honestly, I was watching. I was, I was hoping they would get some more point deductions, but then they, they didn't get any. <laughs> I have gone for a team that got so many points deducted and still managed to escape relegation with Mastermind Swan Dyche. I went for Everton 18th, but they finished 15th, bro. They cooked. Yeah, <laughs> boy. Especially with a point deduction, man. Bro, you guys guessed the point predictions and you put those teams in relegation zone. I took a massive hell on this oh one. Oh my, my god. god. Who knew Gary O'Neill and Dominic Solanke were gonna cook this hard? I put Bournemouth. Gary O'Neill? <laughs> Bloody hell. Bloody hell was that all about? I mean, uh, f***ing, what's this? That's the world's manager. Iriola. I did not know Iriola was going to cook this hard with Bournemouth and Dominic Solanke being their top scorer. Wait, where did they finish? 12th! Ah, such a huge L, bro. <laughs> Six points. Bloody hell. That is bloody lovely. All right, that's our first L of the day. Next up. We've got 17, just escaping relegation. I put Everton, they came 15th. I'll allow it, I'll allow it. It's not awful. They finished 13th. It's not bad. Yeah, I agree. Number 16, I put Wolves. That's a little L. Uh, they've come 14th. I'll allow it. I'm taking an L here again. I've gone for Bournemouth in 16. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, again, another four points. Not awful, yeah, it's but bad. not not great. I went Everton. You know, that's, that's a great shout. That is a great shout. Only, only one point. Only one point for me. Number 15. Fulham. That's what I've gone for. Only racking up two points again. They came in 13th. I'll take that. That's yes, yeah, you're that. cooking the bottom, little, huh? They had a better season than I expected. And if they finish 10th or higher, I'll do a pint of vodka. I mean, 13th is not what I expected at all. I thought they'd struggle with losing Mitrovic. It was very close. I went for in 15th. I actually went for Nottingham Forest to finish 17th. So that's two points for me. Not a bad prediction, honestly. I'm not too angry at myself so far. I went for Wolves at 15. They finished 14th. That's only one point. Points off, you know. That's not bad. That's not bad. Moving on into 14th. I've gone for Bournemouth and they came 12th. And the streak of plus two and plus one continues. I've gone for Burnley in 14th. Bloody Burnley. And now company, after getting relegated, is somehow going to buy in Munich. That's how crazy. does That's that make crazy. any sense? And you actually had the vision then. I, that means you I had, had the vision. vision. <laughs> and you're an absolute idiot for putting them there. <laughs> <laughs> Emma, who's you put for you? I, for instance, I put Nottingham Forest, you know. I thought they were going to have a decent season. They have a great group of players, but obviously they didn't cook as hard as I thought they were going to cook. And they finished 17th. It's only three points. I'll take it. So 13th, I went for Burnley, actually. And you're an absolute idiot. In that time, is a really good prediction, but f it hell. First plus fiver. How's Bayern gone from Tommy Tuchel to company? What is going on? They got relegated and they're paying 15 million to a relegated side to get company. In 13th, I have cooked a little bit. I've gone for Wolves and they finished 14th, so that's only one point for me. I'll take that. In 13th, I've gone for a new team, West Ham. Losing Declan Rice, I did not think they were going to be anywhere near as good as they were the season before, but they still somehow cooked and finished 9th. For 12th, I've also gone for West Ham, and yeah, I just didn't expect them with Declan Rice leaving, but they've had a, they had a really good start to the season, actually. I remember they smashed Brighton. i gone for Crystal Palace, which is another semi-cook because they finished 10th. Honestly, Crystal Palace is that team that always finishes between like 14 and 9th. Like, I, I can't imagine being a Crystal Palace fan when you're watching your team play, not competing for anything. But at the end of the season, they were on a bloody cooker, lads. Yeah, they were cooking. Great minds think alike. I've gone for Crystal Palace at top as well. Two points. I'll take it in the bag. 11th. I'll take one point. <laughs> Crystal Palace in 11th. I have gone for Brentford. 
In 11th, this is an oh, L, this shit. is 5, this is a plus 5 for me. I really thought with their money ball football, they could pull something out again. I mean, I, they've stayed out, that was their goal. I thought Fulham, I predicted they were going to do better than they actually did. Which is not a bad shot, only 2 points off, I'll take it. Number 10, I put Brentford, yeah. Ah, shit. So I think me and her man will take the L on this. Ah, oh, yeah. wait, you guys yeah, have gone for Brentford the there. there, I thought that's, I was being stupid. That's a plus 6 that's, again, that's a plus that's 6. Crazy. Bloody <laughs> that's crazy. Ouch, I thought my, I've actually kind of cooked for this because I thought they were going to be lacking this season and they were. I've gone for West Ham in 10th and they finished 9th. I'll happily take that. Point check. Let's do a point check. I'm on a 28. You know, I'm decent, decent, not bad, decent. not bad. I'm, I'm slightly behind you, Yash. I'm on 30, so this is still very old. Oh, oh and man, what are you I'm on? on 30 as well, bro. Oh. <laughs> ah. Ah. Oh, Wash. Before we get into the top half, let's look at our signings and the top goal scorer of the season predictions. Top goal scorer, everyone knew is going to be Haaland. I think we all put Erling Haaland as top goal scorer. Yeah. I liked him at West Ham. I wanted him at United, but he went to Arsenal and Declan Rice is my signing of the season. And I think that's a fair shout. I had gone for Shabazz Laya's signing of the season. And at the start, he was actually good. And then Liverpool as a whole kind of just fell Most off. Most overrated player this season. Really? I went for Kovacic. That's an even bigger L in my opinion. <laughs> no, that's not a massive L. What do you I mean, he played a lot at the end when they were winning games. It's not a massive L. Let's now get to ninth place. Holy <laughs> Me and her man both went for the hotspur, the Tottenham. Bloody Ange. But man like Ange coming in, didn't manage big teams before. Honestly, he overachieved. In, in ninth, I've done a cooker, kind of. I have gone for Brighton. It's a plus two. I'll take a plus two. Next up, we've got Aston Villa in eighth. Me and Ernesto, we doubled up together here. And of course, they finished fourth. Champions League football for Unai Emery, manager of the season. For so I put Brighton at eighth, which is a bit of an L, because they finished 11th. So seventh, another four points, and I put Brighton <laughs> here. Oh, bloody hell, I've racked up so many points in these last three. Plus four, plus four. I have actually gone for Spurs in seven. It's a plus two. I thought they were going to do well, but obviously they did incredibly well. I put Aston Villa number seven. Oh, Top oh six. This so, oh wait, guys, team six, team we team all team cooked. Team. We've oh, all we've gone, gone for the, for the oh. mighty blues. We knew they'd make a comeback. And this is the first one. We all got correct. That's a plus zero. Let's go. <laughs> is that the first one any of us has gotten correct? I think that's the first one we all got spot on. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's when the power of GSI oh. comes in. And we do it correctly. Okay, number five, <laughs> <laughs> the power of GSI. <laughs> we all put Newcastle in number five. They came seventh, but again, I think that's a, I don't think again, that's Again, injury crisis, you know, didn't a, expect a it. So that's a plus two for everyone. Number four, I went for Man United. <laughs> okay, that's, that's a big, that's <laughs> a big How can you go for United at fourth? Honestly, one of the worst teams in the Premier League this season. I've gone for Liverpool. Honestly, I did not expect them to do so well. I think the only reason they did so well is because they had that cop motivation leaving. All right, top three. <laughs> this is where I put Liverpool. Yeah. And this is my second spot nice. on prediction. Nice. Zero points. No, you actually banged it, bro. Yeah. yeah, that's good. That's You've banged that, Yash. Well done. Well done. Uh, I am, I am, I am yeah, 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 yeah. What am I doing? What is this? What went through my head to put Man United third, guys? That's plus five points for me. Yeah, but look, bro. Okay, I'm out. No, no, no. Uh, no, no, no who's your no, third? Am I? Am I? Who's your third? It wasn't an awful shout. Obviously, the season before, they were fine for the title and still failed. I obviously knew they were going to fight for the title was still filled, so I was going to put them third. So it's, it's not an awful shot. All right, second place. Woo Come on, Yash, me and you. Arsenal in second, me and Ernesto, zero points again. I think they deserve the title. In terms of entertainment and the way they played, best team in the league. Talk Talking about another great team, Haman, who would you put <laughs> The signings we made in the summer with the season we had just before, I thought City were going to be that much better, especially after just winning the treble. So I put United second, thinking, you know, we can scrape a second. How about plus six? All right, and for number one, we all went for Man City. The guess yeah, I can try that time. That's another Wins zero. Again. That's actually crazy. That's crazy. Yeah. Time to count out the points and see who has to give away 10 memberships in the Champions League stream this weekend. And Ernesto, how many do you end up with? I, I think I might have won this, boys. I've got 46. I'm happy with that. I took a massive L here. I got 50. Oh, that's a massive plus six at the end. But did I end up winning? I got 40. Six as well. Oh, wait, game. that's gonna, I'm shaking the I'm shaking the screen. I'm, that's now. great. That means you have to give away 10 free memberships in the Champions League stream this weekend. So make sure to be there or be square.